I had a lot of pork chops last night with rosemary. This is going to be dodgy. 199.3. Ooh, we're getting close to critical. Well, the good news is after today, vacation pretty much is over. So I got my trunks on maybe for the last time. This might be the last time I do the, the shower video, at least for a while. Hear that beeping? It's time to stop talking and get to <laughs> oh, get the shower in. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! No. Oh, I'm getting the phone all wet, looking at my feet, but I just got a text from my brother. I don't know what time you sent it. Like, that's one of the things I need to talk to the T-Mobile people about is I don't get my text anymore unless I look in the text area of my phone. So it's kind of an interesting dilemma. I'm not quite sure what's going on with my cell phone. But I have been attached at the hip to my cell phone for almost four months. I had to take it everywhere with me, everywhere I go. It's been my job. It's not at 7.30 a.m. today. I will officially be working again and need to have my cell phone. One of my last acts that I plan to do today is to the pick and save on the way to work on the lake road and buy some Kit Kat candy bars for the people of scheduling. Now the people at scheduling at Winnebago Mental Health Institute have a very challenging job trying to make sure that every position is full to make sure that all the people there are taken care of. It's a very hard job because you never know who's gonna get injured. You never know who's going to get sick. You never know who's going to be put on administrative leave for four months. You're never going to know how many one-to-ones or two-to-ones or really special care people are going to come into the hospital. It's a job that nobody wants, but everybody sure complains about, but not me. Because I put myself in those shoes and realize, stop complaining. Sign up and do the job yourself if you think you can do it better. So I got nothing but respect for the people that tell me the rooster crowed at midnight. And I need to give them some chocolate. My heart is sad because Big Cat, one of the best leaders I've ever seen out at Winnebago Mental Health Institute, lost the championship belt in his wrestling league. So hopefully he's doing okay. I know he steps on the scale to check his weight. He's very disciplined with regards to what he eats. And today is that today is the day about discipline. Big Cat takes a cold shower every day. I just kind of learned that overhearing him talk to people, you know, when you are as physical as a professional wrestler or you're as physical as a Mr. Gurr, you got to have mental and physical discipline to keep yourself running at 100% and be ready for the challenges that the world throws at you. You never know what's going to happen in the wrestling ring. Well, that's a debate. I'm still kind of naive when it comes to wrestling. I think it's real, kind of like I still believe in Santa Claus. But anyway, you never know what's going to happen at the workplace. I am grateful for having the job I've had for the last 22 going on 23 years. I've got a chance to help so many people. And not just opening the bathroom door or getting them a snack. Man, I've really helped a lot of kids with a lot of issues. They always say, grow up to be the person that you needed when you were young. And that takes discipline. Mr. Gurr has done that in space. Now, I'm wearing my... Ah, 
patriotic get up today. So the question is, well, what do I wear to my meeting? Because I am always well known for wearing these crazy, bright, exorbitant, ridiculous, extravagant, scintillating color ensembles. And today is Tuesday, and I think Tuesday is green and yellow day. It's been so long. I know Wednesday is pink. I know Thursday should be purple for Queen T, but oh, the kids are always excited to see what I was going to wear to work because even what I wear, uh, when the people at T-Mobile ask me, have you been taking your cell phone in the shower, Mr. Gurr? Yes. That could be maybe one of the reasons you're having issues with it. Duly noted good people at T-Mobile. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to dry myself off and the cell phone camera just stopped. Maybe I was rambling. Grandpa Bob saying, hey, let's wrap it up. But anyway... Like I said, usually I wear, you know, bright colors like my yellow shirt. Today, I'm going to put the gur in gray. I got my gray shirt, gray under, uh, gray shorts, gray socks. These shoes used to be white, like Mr. Clean white. But wearing them to work all those years just kind of made them dingy, made them gray. So, sometimes... Things in life leave a stain on you. A lot of people struggle keeping their mind and their heart free from calluses at Winnebago Mental Health Institute sometimes. It's a very tough and demanding job, and I would not trade it for any other job in the world. But I am happy to say that after 22, going on 23 years, my heart and my mind are still fresh and smooth as a baby's bottom. So I'm going to gear up, put the gear in gear, and then uh, go put the gear in gray. You know, it's a black and white world sometimes out there with rules and laws. And Mr. Gurr has made a living being the guy that puts the gear in gray.